So here she is, Renault Clio, just 86,000 miles from you, in metallic green with the manual sunroof, which can you believe it does not appear to be leaking. So uh, quite a rarity and uh, got good levels of tread across all four corners. It is the Grande edition. I'll tell you what, for a car that is well, it's 20 years old, 20 years old this year, it's in remarkably good condition. So untoward warning lights on the dashboard, it starts fine, it's even got the original, oh my word, new Milton. So this may even be a local as they come vehicle. Unbelievable. Nice number plate, bah, bye, bah. Don't know, if you're into sheep, it's kind of cool, right? But uh, imperfection wise, there's nothing really that stands out. You've even got a, I think it's a complete, yeah, you've got complete, ah, yeah, complete set of mud flaps. Wheel trims appear to be genuine Renault items. Got a little dent on that little bit of plastic bumper there, but I mean, cough, really. I'll tell you what, it's really, really nice. So we'll, uh, we'll carry on and, uh, and I'll show you it starting. I'll show you the Clio in action. And the uh, screen looks nice and clean, by the way. There's no large cracks or chips from what I can see. The interior, oh, the interior. This has got to be the best bit, isn't it? The style and the colours, obviously, but the condition of the interior. You can tell I'm quite excited about 20 year old Clio, can't you? But surely you can share my excitement. This is like, oh, it's like velour. It's not even like your standard cloth. Like Renault obviously went to town when they uh, came up with that design. Plastics appear nice and clean. It doesn't really look like it's had much use. I mean, if you would have read the advert, you'd see it's just a two owner two owner from new car um you know even the boot that it's like so well kept oh spare wheel toolkit of course there's a spare wheel and toolkit look at the condition of that shine bright like a diamond right uh, start her up the beast Hers. Got, got a fan. So quite know where that is or why that's not there, but a few little bits missing here. But that's probably the worst that I can fault it for. I mean, normally you know, the, like I say, the sunroof didn't really leak like hell. Uh, but you know what? It's pretty damn dry around there. So at least it's manual operation, nothing to electrically break or anything. So that's good. Uh, radio. That's just telling me to put my seatbelt on, by the way. Um, whoa. Anyway, let's try and get it spin around the other side, see if it moves and works. And uh, we'll conclude there. I hope it's been of use. I mean, there's not really been too many bad bits to pick out because it's actually quite nice. Cool. Anyway, any questions, please get in touch and uh, hopefully I'll hear from some of you soon. Thanks for watching.